Hello there. It's so um, very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is well inherited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a bit about yourself? Choose your throw from the line. Hmm. What's your name? Of course, my name. Hey guys, it's Zero Stick here. Welcome to my last play of Pokemon Brilliant Pearl. Rawr. Pearl. Like a paration, of course. So, let's name her character. And let's get this journey started, right? Your name is Zero? Yes. So, you're Zero. A fine name that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What, he, what might his name be? Well, there's a bunch of names you can name him. Clint, Ralph, Lewis, Tommy. Or I can tell you. I'll tell you. So yeah, I'll tell you. So, his name is... Franklin Johnson Benjamin. FJB for short. FJB, is it? That's your friend's name? Yes, it is. Alright, Zero. The time has come. Your very own tale of Grand Adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I am sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go and leap into the world of Pokemon. That concludes our special report. Search for the Red Gyarados. And you didn't go to Johto, so you missed that by a bunch of years. Brought to you by Jubilee TV on Nationwide Net. Huh. Yay, we're back to looking like trash cans again. <laughs> Now, starting right off, I want to say, uh, the graphics are good, they're nice. Now, I know a lot of people are like, oh, why are we going with the chibi fight? Look, hey, 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 hey. I've been playing Pokemon since the first one, since Blue, okay? Oh, the other ones, before, or before we got to, hmm, 
one. I want to say Sun and Moon. All the other ones. You look like a freaking trash can. Your sprite looked like a trash can. You look like this. Just because it wasn't... What? Was it? No. Was it 8-bit? I don't remember how many bits there were in the games, but... There were way lower bits. You always look chibified, so... This is a nice look. I like it. So, let's see what we have here in our PC. Ah, uh, no. No, I... Okay, in the original games, um, when you came to a PC, there was like a potion or something, some item. Oh god, it's on the switch here. I hope there's a run button. What does it say here? X button opens menu. Okay, head downstairs. Oh, so we have a hint system now. Okay, so options, let's see what we have here. Attack speed. I'll uh, keep it normal. Window types. You can just change the look. Window stairs, so you can see. I always go with this one, type 18. Battle effects on. But if you want um, battle effects, obviously the attacks. And if you want to make the game go faster, you just put attack speed fast. You turn that off. And. If you want a more challenging game, you can just, instead of just switch, you can just set, set to set. So, you can select your Pokemon when the um, you can take and down an enemy's Pokemon, of course, or vice versa. Uh, you get into boxes, can be manual or automatic. I'll leave it manual for now. Nicknames, if you want to use certain... Uh, gyroscope! Oh, no, 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 I don't want gyroscope. I, I, I don't want any of that. I'll save. I'll turn that off because this is a let's play. I don't want to, you know, record something and then have that data loss and be like, Oh, man, I have to re-record that and then I'm like, oh, yeah, the I'll save. Screw me over. Okay, choke nicknames. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 this is okay. Um, maybe we'll turn the background music a little bit lower. Let, let's get it here on 5. Sound effects, Pokemon Cries, okay, those are good. Okay, nothing else. Yes. Okay. Our bag, let's see, I don't, don't have anything. We do have a thousand bucks, which is pretty good. Well, to start with. Mom! Sido! Franklin Johnson Benjamin! Came calling for you a while ago! I don't know what it's about, but he said it was an emergency. Now, uh, one thing about these conversations that I don't like is, you saw how earlier there was the little arrow pointing you? See how there's nothing? Now, uh, I don't know why they did that. It should have the arrow telling me, hey, um, skip to the next text instead of just being like, hey, uh, just, if you didn't know, you would just be waiting here and be like, why isn't the game progressing? Okay, we'll look for Franklin. Oh yes, Zero, don't go in the tall grass while Pokemon might attack you. See, again, doesn't have it here. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... So what? You, you saw there? I was waiting, it was like a... Well, our little town here, Twin Leafs Town. Oh, the OG sounds. Technology just blows me away. Okay, yeah. We know that. 
always go to people's houses without knocking. Did you hear the Pokemon Professor returned to the next town over? They say he was gone for four long years. Okay, what about you? Listen, listen, sir, I want you Pokemon! Okay. Hey, you want to keep Pokemon, but I don't know. I don't have any Pokemon right now. How about you? It's true that wild Pokemon do attack people sometimes. Her Pokemon also let you become friends with them. Or you can actually capture them. How about you? You're off to hang out with Franklin, Justin, and Benjamin again, right? You two sure are tight. Franklin, Johnson, Benjamin. This is his house. Huh. What was that about? Oh, hey, Zero. Going to the lake, you should come too, and be quick about it. Okay, Zero, I'm finding you one million if you're late. Oh, God. Oh, jeez, I forgot something. Go in, let's see what he forgot. Hi, who are you? Oh, hi, sir. Are you looking for Franklin Johnson Benjamin? He was gone for a second, but then he came running back home. He can't, he just can't sit still. That boy, I wonder who he takes after. Probably you, he has no dad. I better take my bag and guidebook too. Oh, hey, Zero. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million fine if you're late. What? 10 million? Who do you think he is? He, he, he think like the king or something? Oh, man. Also, why do you have a Nintendo Switch with one controller attached and the other one um, not attached and not on the dock and you're playing a motion game? Uh, that's a wrong move. Okay, so let's see. How about you? Hi, look. Hi, Zero. Looking for Franklin Johnson Benjamin? He just went tearing off a little while ago. He's probably not gone too far. Why not go chase after him? Okay. There you are. Hey, you saw the news report that was on TV, right? You know, the search for the Red Gyarados, a mysterious appearance of the Furious. Pokemon in the lake? That show got me thinking. I'll bet our local lake has Pokemon like that in it too. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. Okay. So right now we don't have any Pokemon, so we really can't do anything. Just walk. All right, to the lake. Let's find us a red Gyarados. Why does it have to be a Gyarados? 
What's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine, this is enough that we have seen the lake. Don, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back at Sino after being away for four years? Now, let me tell you something. Some people call it Sino, Sina. Sina, I think. Some people actually say that. Uh, Chino, the fans, uh, is Sino region to me, so. If I mix it up, it's just that. I know, I think in the Spanish version, I think they call it Chino. I think, but whatever. In Sino, after being away for four years, it must be exciting again. Hmm, there is one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regards to our studies. Excuse me, let us pass, please. I beg your pardon, we'll be on our way. What was that about, those two? Uh, Cyril, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go in the tall grass! No problem, no problem, we won't be in there for long. Enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. It's a briefcase. Those people forgot it here. Now, let me tell you something. If you have played Pokemon Sword and Shield, you know that the grass, the tall grass is actually taller, a lot bigger. Remember, this is Chibi-fied, so that's why the grass is gonna look like this. And then the original game, so, yeah. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say Professor. What? P -p -p Pokemon? What's going on? Look, these are Pokeballs. Let's battle using the Pokemon in them. Which one do you want, eh? So! Gonna get our first Pokemon, and let me tell you something right now. They needed to do better graphics for the briefcase and the Pokeballs. You can see the pixelation on them, sadly. Why didn't they do that? I don't know. So, let's start off from left to right. This is Turtwig, the tiny leaf Pokemon. Coarse grass, and I like how they made it so it's no right there. Our next Pokemon is the Chimp Pokemon Chimchar. Pure fire, of course, until it evolves. But um, I know what you're thinking, Zero. You're gonna get Chimchar, right? I don't like monkeys, and I have never liked Chimchar, so no. But what about this one? The Penguin Pokemon Piplo. And I'll be honest with you. This was the first. Of all the other Pokemons. Uh, all from Generation 1. To up to this one. 
I have always gotten fire, the fire story. But in this one, I went with Piplo. Great Pokemon to have, so let's go. Starly! I'll tell you guys, now the graphics looks pretty good here. Okay, so let's battle. And of course, we only have two attacks, but if, if you're wondering how does the battle system work, well, it's RPG, classic RPG. You press one button, and then you have your attacks or items, depending. Right now, we only have the attacks. Now, I do like that they added the move info, so you just press Y, and it tells you pound. You can pound something 35 times. It's a physical attack, it has 40 power and 100 accuracy. The target is physically pounded with a long tail. Oh my god, I did not write that. A four leg or the like. Okay. They put that there, not me. The next attack is growl. Growl, you got 40 of them. No power, 100% accuracy. The user growls and it's his endearing way, making a positive opposite opposing Pokemon less wary. They lower the attacks. So one lowers the attacks, one hits. Uh, I suggest you hit. Don't waste your time with growl. Boom, see? Oh no, he tackled us. Oh my god. From 21 we went to 18. Found him again. Ooh. There we go. Now, do remember that if the Pokemon you selected here is the one you're gonna be keeping, um, unless obviously you reset the game and that's the start over again, but that's the one you're gonna be keeping. Your Piplo totally rot. But my third trick was way tougher than yours. There were other people's Pokemon. Now, obviously, if you haven't, this is for people that haven't played Pokemon before. If you pick fire, he's gonna pick water. If you pick grass, he's gonna pick um, fire. If you pick people like I did, he's gonna pick Turtwig. He's always gonna pick the element that's gonna challenge you. But we have to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor will have been furious if I lost it. Huh? Oh no. Did, did you use the Pokemon that were in there? You did? Oh my gosh, what's the professor going to say? This is not good. I'll take this bridge case for now. What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Zero. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. You go ahead. I know we have to go return these Pokemon. They're not ours. But I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. Okay, so. 
as you can see there is gonna tell us now that we have our first Pokemon and as you can see there it, oh it's fully healed okay so this is Piplup and you can check his summary as you can see there pure water type has my trainer ID how many X points basically how you level up and this is the nature. This is really important if you're gonna play competitive, if you're just gonna let's play like I am, before anybody asks. I'm just going to get what I what I can get. That's just how it's gonna work. It's a let's play, it's not be to take be taken serious as a competitive team or anything like that. I'll do that on my own time because that takes a lot of time in this game. I think a full playthrough is like 20 hours and um, if you work to do natures and all that stuff, yeah, it'll probably be months, maybe a year. <laughs> so, as you can see here, this Pokemon is pretty bashful by nature. We first met one another on 11 19 2021, and it was a Lake Variety, 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 Variety. At the first time, at the time, the Pokemon was low 5, and it's very finicky, it happily eats anything. So that's his nature. Here you can see the actual stats and the ability, which is store and power ups war type moves when Pokemon HP is low. So normally they do have these ones. Um, there are items that can change them, and if you're really, really, really darn lucky, you might get it with another ability. And here are the attacks, and you can just check the moves. Another thing you can do is restore. So you can heal it up and help items, which we don't have, is give it an item, you know, you can give it like, oh gosh, like a XP share, well, I don't know if there's XP share in this one, they might have just put it so all your Pokemons level up at the same time, but you know, you just give it an item to hold, maybe a berry, so when it looks as health or it's too low it eats it and that stuff that's for battle mostly or and for evolution sometimes okay let's keep going all right no run hey it's those people is that old guy staring at us hmm I heard from Dawn that you use our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Piplup and Turtwig. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Dawn, I'm going back to my lab. Um. Okay, Professor, please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. What's all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? Sure, we should go home too. What's up, dear? Whoa, I can't believe that happened to you. Oh my god, you got attacked by bird Pokemon? Oh, if you guys remember, there was this Pokemon trainer called Ash Kesham. He got attacked by a bunch of bird Pokemon as well. Too bad he didn't have a Pokemon on him. Poor kid ended up being bird food. Am I ever glad that you, that both you and Franklin Johnson Benjamin are unharmed? 
professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Ruang of San Jem Tao. San Jem and Tao. I heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I heard he's also quite intimidating. Sir, I think you need to visit him in San Jem Tao. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he will understand. Oh, I know, Zero. Put these on. Yay, we got running shoes. Oh, thank God. If you're... If you have played newer Pokemon games only, then... Yeah, I think um, running shoes were first introduced in... Gosh. I, I, I want to say Gen 2, but I might be wrong, it could be Gen 3. Yeah, I think it was um, Ruby and Sapphire, if I remember correctly. Going to San Gen Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to far away places much faster. Okay, let me read you the instructions. Kill the last Deferno and dash about faster. Okay. Okay. Well, isn't that just nifty? Well, in the older games, you have to hold down B, I think it was. I don't remember all of them. Ah, this PC ain't giving me anything. Now, another way to heal your Pokemon is sleeping. Okay, I guess we just have to go to Sam Jim Town. Because why not? Okay, mom, I'm leaving, uh, but I don't have a hat or anything, and looks like you're enjoying that. Let's go. Okay, uh, we don't have a map. I don't remember where to get one, but let's go. So, the grass is gonna have, of course, Pokemon and people. Well, Pokemon lurking through grass, they can come bursting out at any time. So, if you're wanting to battle well, Pokemon just walk into all grass. If you want to avoid well, Pokemon just stay out of the grass. Ooh, Beedoof. These Pokemon right here, we cannot catch them because we don't have any balls. We don't have balls, man. See, no balls, no balls. So you can bow him, run, switch your Pokemon, which we don't. But we're just gonna bow him. Now, Beedoof, I want him my team. Not because he's a great Pokemon, a, a, a great fighter, or anything like that. I, I want to have one in my team because he's a Asham Slave. And you might be thinking, Asham Slave? What, what is that? What kind of kinky thing is that? No, it just means that in this game there's hidden moves. And hidden moves are Surf, Cut, Flash, Fly, um, Rock Climb. So he's good to have. So let's see if we can. I, I think all of these Pokemon are here in Beedle and Starly. Yeah. Okay, last one that I'm really gonna be looking for. But darn too bad we don't have Pokeballs. Now, I do wanna stress this out. Uh, this game, when it first came out, Pokemon Pearl, I played all of it legit, but I didn't replay the game. I only 
play it through once. And then the second time that I played through it was when Pokemon Platinum came out. I remember that I just went to Kmart one night. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get Pokemon Platinum. And I got it. But I also got... Oh, we leveled up. And as you can see there, people look good to level 6. Uh, which is nice that we got some stuff, but I wanted to explain something. I, if you're gonna be doing competitive Pokemon play, obviously you're... You, you do that when you have everything. You know, when, when you have all the stuff you need. Oh, we learned where got nice. Our first elemental attack. Now, over here, you see this? Those little bumps? Oh. Hey, we jump. A little slow, but still. Bring your tips. Uh huh, don't be shy to get it. Basically, yeah. Yeah, okay. That's some crappy advice right there. Uh huh. Yes, we know that. Yay, we got a potion! Now, the potion that we got is, is not anything special. Soren is only 20 HP, as you can see there, so... Right now, it's not good to use. Oh, but it gave us 10! Okay. Ah, yeah. Oh well, we'll test out War again. To do more damage. Oh yeah, a lot more. And that only lowers physical attack if I remember correctly, yeah. This is special attack, SP. But yeah, after you have completed the game when you're doing more competitive Pokemon stuff, there is certain Pokemon that give you certain um how you say this, uh advantages like some of them will give you more SP when you level up, stuff like that. Let's talk to you. I already know that. Well, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it, our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. Fud. What the? Oh, it's you, Zero. The little guy, he's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Ah, it doesn't matter, Zero. I'm out of here. See you later. Whoa. What was that? Frencher seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. And yeah, they start to all the Pokemon games are slow. Finally, you come, Zero. Was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, it seems this Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alright then, I'll give you that Piplup to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? No, I don't like nicknaming my Pokemon. Your friend Franklin Johnson Benjamin told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battle very well despite being your first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and your Pokemon. Fought it. 
fact, it is still young. That's why I like you to entrust. I would like to entrust you with Piplup. I'm so glad that you're kind to our Pokemon. If you weren't, I have to say, oh, I just can't say it. Ahem, <laughs> let's move to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sino region. To do so, it's necessary to collect data using the Pokédex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with the Pokédex. Would you use it to report data of all Pokémon in Chino for me? Yes. Hmm, good answer. We got the Pokédex! The Pokédex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokémon you encounter. That's actually not true. The only time the Pokédex works like that is in the anime. Because, you know, Ash can't catch them all! <laughs> yeah, in the games, like I said, this is for people that is the first time playing this game. You have to capture the Pokemon. The Pokemon is going to register, it's going to give you the number, and you can check the location. But the rest of the information, you have to get it. So I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. When you walked up to 201 with your Pokemon, what do you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now you should know. There are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Serious Grand Adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I used for the first time was Chimchar. If you would have chosen Chinchar at the lake, you have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but... Anyways, I'm done. Now, what she said is incorrect. You, if you have... If I would have chosen Chinchar, she would have Piplup. No, not Piplup, Turtwig. She, she will always get the one that's left. So, that, that what she said about two chim shards, that's wrong. I also helped the professor at pages two Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. And that's false. Franklin Johnson Benjamin is not going to add anything to the Pokedex, nor is Dawn. You're going to do the whole work all by yourself. It just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Zero. Okay, what do you have here? Ah, nothing. Now, this area, I'm pretty sure sometimes rolling is gonna be here. How about you? Okay. Now, let's 
check out the Pokedex. As you can see here, one, two, whatever. Um, Beedoff is number 13, Stali is number 10, and Piplos is number 7. Now, this is... This Pokedex is based off... Well, all the Pokedex are based off their region, so... In Kanto, Bombasaur is number 1. Um, and Stilts is number 1 if you go with the natural attack, so... Yeah. So here, see how you can, you don't have any information, but you press Habitat, and you can see where you're gonna be. Pretty sure it's supposed to be this. So we have all of this continent to explore. See um, the blue marks? That's where the Pokemon are. So there's a lot. There's a lot. Plus, the secret areas, of course. There are secrets. A lot of secrets. This is the Pokemon game that has... Well... I think this one probably has the most legendary at the time. Okay, so I'll, ask, uh, I'll act as your mentor. I got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as, a, and as the professor assistant. Okay, follow me. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. The building with the blue roof over there is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. So since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right, Sierra. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to going to be helping Professor Rowan? With the Pokedex? You may need to travel pretty far, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, before you go, queue up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. So, if you go down here, there's another route, Route 219, and there's a Pokeball here. Look at Antelope. Now, items in the original Pokemon games, especially um, earlier ones, well, they're basically the items like the Antelope is inside the Pokeball, is like that. Oh yeah, I forgot. Let's go to the center because... Sometimes Pokemon games are really stingy with what you have to do next. And this is basically multiplayer stuff. We might get into that. And this one as well. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We already know how this works. Now this here is the Pokemon box. PC and you can enter someone's PC and here you can put your Pokemon and organized boxes there's 18 of them oh I like the signs well this game can always have nice box designs and that's how you do it after you get all six Pokemon that you can carry the next one will be transferred here but in these new versions of the game, you can actually go and be like, Hey, how about, well, at least in Pokemon Shield, we'll see how that works. Um, when you catch a new Pokemon, it will tell you, Hey, do you want to swap it out for another Pokemon? 
one of your party, so it doesn't go to your PC. So, uh, did I get Pokeballs? Oh no, I didn't get Pokeballs. Let's get some Pokeballs. Ah, oh, darn it. Uh, don't worry, Beedoof is around, but... I think your mod gives you Pokemon... Pokeballs, but... Ow. I'll see if I can get some. Come on, dude, really, we're gonna take that long. Besides, we really need to level up. So yeah, this is a grinding game, which I'll probably, you know, speed up and cut stuff. All of that little editing tricks. Okay, let's see what you got. Give me Pokeballs. How many can I buy? I can buy 40. I only need 40. I think it's a little bit too much, so give me 20. Okay. Got me balls! Got some balls now. Got balls now. Like Tony Montana! Yeah! You ain't got no balls. So we can catch our first Pokemon here. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, obviously, with the balls, you can throw them anytime you want. But normally, what you do is you weaken them. He's slow, too. So let's pound him. Oh my god, that sounds really long. Ooh. Now, I, I. Hopefully, it doesn't take him down, but we'll see. It might land a critical hit. Okay, there we go. Now that we can weaken the Pokemon, we just press X or you just go to the back. But in this game, they made it a lot easier, so you press X, choose your Pokeball. There it goes. Yay! We got it first try! I wasn't expecting to get it first try because sometimes... Um, all the Pokemon has have cash rates, and sometimes that cash rate can be really high or really low. Uh, depends, but sometimes even Pokemon that are pretty normal that might have a lot of cash rate, um, you still, you know, are not able to get it. And there we go, we got Bidoof. Bidoof, normal type. Plump mouse Pokemon, it constantly gnaws and logs logs and rocks to whittle down its front teeth. It's nets alongside water. Okay. Now so now we have two Pokemon and we can switch between them if you need to you just press Y and you swap it out. Well we'll stick with Pip. Now let's see if we can get Another new friend. Ah, uh, I don't want you. Oh, not you again. Obviously, if you're doing competitive, you're gonna be capturing the same Pokemon over and over and over again or breeding them to get what you want. Okay, just confirm EXP share is on all the time. So it's other bead of grain XP. So that's nice. Well, that's good for a let's play, but if you're doing competitive stuff, you don't want that on. And here we have okay, start. Now Starly is gonna be part of our team because it's final evolution, gosh, it's really darn good in this game. Like, already, starting this game, you already have three Pokemon that are gonna be in your team and are gonna be really helpful. I mean, 
If you pick Chimchar, Turtwig, or Piplup, doesn't matter. All three of them are good. Um, for, you know, a, a normal let's play. Not for competitive, that's a whole nother thing. But for what we're doing, yeah. Starly, great. Because, like I said, the final evolution is really darn good. And Beedoof, like I said, HM Slave, so he's gonna be able to use Surf and Rock Climb, which is great, and Cut. So you don't have to worry much, and Starly is gonna be able to use Fly. There go. So, our first two type Pokemon, which dual type, which is normal Flying, Starly. Usually with a large flock, it is barely noticeable when alone, it cries are very, uh, its cries are very strident. Okay. No. Okay, so right off the bat, we got two great Pokemon here. So, uh, oh yeah, another thing is if you have more than one Pokemon, uh, make sure you have selected the one you want uh, your second strongest for double battles. Because if you enter a double battle and you have like Beat of Fear, which all his attacks are just gonna be stuff to get around, then you have a weaker Pokemon instead of a stronger one. And here you have a really good combo. So let's see, let's go to our house, which is this one. Yo, mom. Welcome home, sir. Are you and your Pokemons healthy? It's so late right now. Take a quick rest, dear. What's up, sir? My mom never says what's up. <laughs> <laughs> well, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, sir. I've got something that you'll find useful. Oh, well, we got a guy back. That's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you are curious about something or have questions. During your adventure, you may find an answer. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, Zero. I'll be all right by myself, dear. So go on and enjoy your adventure. And you're exposed to new things, new experiences, new sensations. It makes your mother happy too. But please come back sometime. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you caught here. Okay, we got the guidebook. Eh. Excuse me. Is my little FJP here? Oh no, he's not. Oh then, he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, and then he bolted! He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Zero will deliver that to him. Well, you, Zero. Oh, really? You did that for me? Sir, please take this to Franklin Johnson Benjamin for me. 
got a parcel. Bye bye, sir. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably head straight to Jubilee City. Okay, please take that to my FJB. Oh my god. Let's see the parcel. What is it? We got antelope there. Oh, we got Premier Ball. Yeah, every time you buy 10 Pokemon, 10 Pokeballs or more, you get one. Basically, the same cash rate as a Pokeball, just in white. So, we got our guide book, which, yeah, I care about that. And we got the parcel. A parcel instructing your care was supposed to deliver it to your childhood friend who left Twin Leaf Town. I guess these are his diapers, their formula, so we'll get that. Maybe his blanket, right? Let's hear it. You're forgetting something important. Yes, that hat always did suit you well, Zero. Now off you go. So yeah, the hat! I was wondering that, I was like, why don't we have a hat? And it's because she gives it to This is new to this game. Um, that wasn't in the originals, that's for sure. Oh look, another beetle. Oh well. Which we don't need, but eh, we just want to level up a little bit. But let me know. Let me know if you guys want me to cut a few of the battles or... You know, I, I don't want to make this too grindy. It's not good to have a... Uh, Way too grindy game, honestly. Okay, so it should be over here. Oh, Dawn is here. I saw her. Oh, that's right. Sir, sure, I haven't shown you how to catch Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch how to catch one. So just watch me, okay? Uh, we already know how to do this. This is completely automatic. I have no control over it. I would have made the fire in Chimchar's tail look a lot better. It looks okay. Alright, don't tell me you're gonna use a potion. Okay. But yeah, um, a lot of the original Pokemon games. Well, I think, yeah, I think all of them have the little thing of how to catch a Pokemon. <laughs> See? Isn't it neat? Actually, it's, very, it's better to lower your target HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon HP down as low as possible. I hope we Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using A. Pokemon. Hey guys here, can you start I'll give you some Pokeballs. You take some Pokeballs. If you have a lot of Pokemon with you, it will be safer on long trips. 
And that's not 100% true. If you have a bunch of low level Pokemon, and then your main Pokemon gets taken down, guess what? You're even more vulnerable. Plus, it'd be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to get going. Bye now! I'm pretty sure this route just has the same Pokemon. Oh god. You're a Pokemon trainer! I happen to be a Pokemon trainer! Our eyes meet, so battle we must! Oh my god, he's wearing shorts! Oh yeah, let's go. Let's take this guy out. Yeah, Starly is pretty fast. It's faster than Piplup, that's for sure. But I hit hard. Oh my god, Growl! Growl, guess what? I'm not gonna use Pound. Haha, <laughs> our first victim. There we go. Oh, wait, nice. I normally want to evolve our star Pokemon before we get to the first gym. Too strong, too strong! 380 bucks for that, yeah! I can buy an OLED Switch with that! Haha, <laughs> got money! I spy with my little eye a trainer. A battle, please. Oh, value. Value. Okay, last. Let's go. But yeah, it's important to battle. It's important to grind. Because you need to evolve your Pokemon. You need to get stronger. Especially for the gyms. There you go. Alright, you can't keep using these off. Okay. Ah, people. Pick me out. I love the background, by the way. It looks great. But I do think the the Pokemon graphics themselves are I think they're could be wrong about that, but I think they look a little bit better than Pokemon Shield does. Oh boo, I can't win. Oh give me 348 bucks. Ah, more beetle. Oh, another one. Let's have a Pokemon battle. I'm gonna win. <laughs> I wear shorts because they're comfy. Oh, oh god, the Chinx? Okay, Chinx's electric typing has intimidate. Darn. So my tax went down. Oh, great. I wasn't expecting that. 
Um, I think I'm gonna have to switch for Beedif. We'll see. I um, guess we'll use Water Gun. I know. Well! Well, I guess it was wrong! I, I was expecting it not to say it's not very effective, but it, it, it worked! Took it down, so I'm not complaining. Uh, defense girl, okay. Like I said, beat off is just gonna be a a champ slave, so no, we have to worry about attacks that is learned right now. Oh, what about you? Yeah, I don't. Okay. Ocean. Oh, it's easy. Up. Oh, what's up, Don? Hi, Zero. Are you catching Pokemon? Um. I think you feel a lot safer if you were to catch some more. In July, see, there's a trainer school, which, well, you know. So, you should visit it. You should get some tips on Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Franklin Johnson Benjamin went to the trainer school earlier. Okay, bye now. Okay, so let's kill up because I think we're gonna be having a fight there. Man, this this game needs a little bit more optimization. Like some some stuff looks great and the other stuff. It looks a little bit too pixelated. I, I think they should be. Oh, this guy is. Where are you guys playing? Oh, he's playing Pokemon. Okay, and I think this is the trainer school. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, you roll ASA, nobody cares. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we know that. Oh yeah, that's right! Whoa, she has an Abra? <laughs> nice! Wasn't expecting an Abra this fast. Man, Abras are great special attackers. Holy cow! Oh, special attack rules! Darn! So it's gonna hit me even harder next time. Ooh. I thought this game was gonna be a cakewalk, but it looks like they upped the difficulty here. They can buy uh, something. Okay, let's um, let's kill a Piplup. Let's get one more just in case. Okay, we're good. Oh yeah, we got the trainer card. You can see my little trainer card there. 
ID number, money, amount of Pokemon, playtime, little picture of yourself. Here you can see your contest, which we'll get to that later on. And we can view our badges, which we have nothing. battle this battle I, I I like that they up the game a little bit more another Abra so this one is gonna have charge beam as well so Piplup's a little bit well it's not it's a little bit stronger than level up the problem is if I get hit with critical Again. Ooh, that was close. There we go. We should level up. I think we we're gonna level up now. Oh, they did, but not Piplo. Okay. Oh, we got our first technical machine. Okay, so the technical machines you might be wondering uh, what does that do? Well, if this is your first time playing Pokemon. Okay, technical machines. Basically, you can your Pokemon different attacks as you can see here this one is only used once he gave us three this is TM 10 it's called work up the user is roused and its attack and special attack stats increase can be used three times doesn't have any power or accuracy it's just stat boots now technical machines in later games instead of just being one-time uses they were made to be you can use them anytime there were unlimited uses but here in this game uh, the TMs are one time use that's why he gave us one three I mean and as you can see here people can learn it they can basically all learn it and the HMs are the ones that are unlimited but you just became a trainer did you Ah, no. Ezio, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was on the chart on the blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to avoid having the precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Zero, what brings you here? You got something for me? You deliver the parcel. So, what is this? Score is a town map. Huh, why are there two in here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here's Hill, take one. And we got our town map. Hmm. Well, according to the town map, I guess Orenburg City is where I should be going next. Just a gym, so it'd be perfect for racing the Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road becoming the greatest Pokemon trainer of all time. See you around. Oh well, it was one fight, so. Let's keep going. And the Bilac board just gives you useless information, by the way. 
tenang aja ya yeah, no. now there is something else that we can do in this city so we're not gonna leave it yet Now, the town map is pretty much the map that I already showed you, but there you go. It has information of what stuff is around, uh, the cities that you haven't visited, routes and stuff. You can zoom in? No, okay. Oh, well. oh you are a Pokemon trainer. You don't have a pocket yet? Pocket is short for Pokemon Watch. Oh my. You're a rate case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufactured Pocket. Not only that, I'm now conducting. The Pokech promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clouds in Jubilee Life City. If you can find them, I'll give you your very own Pokech. Okay, so the clowns. Here's one. Does the Pokemon grow by feeding others and gaining EXP points? Yes. Yes, we already know that. Got coupon! That's coupon number one. And yeah, you can check them out. Okay. So we still need two more. Let's see where the other clown is. I think if I remember correctly, there's one here. I'm pretty sure none of them are outside buildings. I'm sorry, the GWS isn't ready yet. Okay. Uh, so that's not done. But like I said, I'm pretty sure none of them are inside buildings. They're all outside. Can't go there. Oh, here's the other one. Can I Pokemon hold an uh, item? Yes. Yes, we know. That's coupon 3. So we're missing coupon 2. Oh, curious. Just like Pokemon, do the moves of Pokemon also have types? Yes, that's right. Then you can teach um, moves to, let's say, you have a water Pokemon, and there is uh, your weakness, let's say, is an electric type, but you can show a ground move, let's say, earthquake, and then you basically can pretty much defeat that other type with that attack if you're strong enough and fast enough as, as well. If you don't miss. Okay, let me tell you coupons. I'll just pull out my pull deck here and... One, two, three, bravo! I say bravo! In return of these coupons, I present to you with the Pokey Watch. Or Poketch, for short. You receive a Poketch! You can add apps to your Pokedex to make it even more versatile. By the way, this was before the Apple Watch, so... In fact, smartwatches in general, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm... I'm pretty sure they got the idea from here. Please, press the R button to try it out. Okay. So, this thing. 
since this was a Nintendo DS game, the Pokesh will be on the lower screen. As you can see here, press the R button to open the Pokesh, control by using the touch screen and hold down the R to close it. By now you're using motion controls. So what happens if I open it now? Okay. I'm not using a touch screen. Oh, okay. So you press R again. Now this is the first app. As you can see here, it's just a little light giving you time. It has a little Pikachu. But if you want to check more apps, you can go here. You got the calculator, which does work. So three by twelve equals thirty-six. So it does work. Uh, these are the steps that you have taken. My bad. This is the total stuff we have right now, and we can reset them. And here we can see our Pokemon. You can listen to the cry, so that's pretty good. And that's it. So that's gonna be staying up there. Oh, okay. So you can call it, you can press it again. Okay, if you want a gun, you just hold down the R. That's it. Okay. Let's see what they're selling here. Um, I know we probably won't have great balls yet. Oh, but heal balls. Nice. Um, cash rate is, I guess, pretty much the same as a uh, Pokeball. The difference is that it heals your Pokemon. As you can see there. When you cash them, but eh. Don't need that. Okay. Um, next stop is Orenburg City. In Orenburg. Oh, yeah, I see her. Okay. Oh, in the original game, they also gave you the, the little flags. Yes, here. Told me you got a little tougher. Me? Did you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on. Let's battle right out. You're fast and you're using quick attack. Boom. Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky, can't. Uh, why do we use tackle? Quick attack is harder. And it's always getting two to hit first. Unless another Pokemon has me first. There we go. Go 10. Twig. I'll give the current one. It's not very effective. Yeah. Oh no, he's using defense. Okay, so the defense rose. Let's keep hitting him with water gun. Okay, we do with special attack. Oh, I finally use tackle. And tell me he's gonna use a potion. So he doesn't have Razor Leaf, which is good. Or Leash Life. Forgot which is the one he learns. Nice attack should do it, unless he can on by 1 HP, which does happen. Go. 
But yeah, something that I know is they up the difficulty on this one. So it means that if there's a gene layer with level 10 Pokemon or level 15, we have to be around level 20 then. Well, not level 20, but ju just to be sure. Whoa, 1188. And we can buy a PC with that. Oh, a cheap one. Oh, 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 what? What do you mean I lost? Well, th that's it. That's the last time I will ever lose to you. I'm going to be the world's strongest, toughest trainer, and you know it. The first thing to do is. Take on the Orenburg City Pokemon Gym. I'm gonna toughen up for that. Totally. Okay. Sleepy guy. So, have this route. Another one there. But there's an item here, so let's go get it. Oh wow, we found Pokeball. I wonder if Pokemon come out here. Let's see. Ah, sorry. I forgot. I forgot that this game, especially in these star areas, like most of the Pokemon you're gonna see are pretty much the same ones. I think people have evolved slow 15 or is it 12? Oh, 15, I forgot. Okay, let's end this guy. Did. Okay, we leveled up. Oh, charm. Too bad. I oh, know, keep my one. Poison. Poison flying. Now, this one only has 14 or 35. Um, charm, by the way, the user gazes at the target. Rather, charm will make any less worry. This hardly lowers the target's attack strength. But, let's see what we're gun. Yeah, let's look it down. Ah, darn it, okay, Super Sonic. Now we're confused. Confusion! Um, confusion! When you're confused, there's a chance that you can hit yourself or hit your partner Pokemon or whatever. Uh, sometimes, in some games, it can be really forgiving and some, in other ones, it can be really annoying. I don't know how it works here, so we'll see. Oh, thank God. By the way, don't worry, um, confusion goes away after the battle ends. It's not like poison that stays there. But I should kill up. Did you know? The first book on that appears in battle is the one at the top of your team list. Yeah, I know that. Okay, you didn't have to tell me that. Oh yeah, Power of Point is the PP. 
Huh, see? If we had surf, we could surf this area. We'll go over there, but we can't. We're always together, I'll show you how we've bonded. Oh wow, you bonded! What? Inside the shorts? <laughs> Youngster Dallas. Oh, Krukatoth! Nice. I believe it's Bug Grass, I think it is, or Fly. One of those two. But it's a bug. Wow. To growl the Piplup. Oh, you're dead. Oh, Starly Land, where you attack? Nice. Oh yeah, Jinx. I want this. Wasn't looking for it, but it appears. This is okay. It's level four. Darn it. Um, let's use pound. Hopefully, it doesn't take it down. Okay, Leer. Don't worry. That's just gonna lower our accuracy. Well, a defense. I was thinking of sad act. Okay. Ooh, it comes with Thunder Shock. That's good. Let's see if we can catch it. One, and two, and three. This stays there? Yeah. Sometimes uh, after the dirt. Third time, it can just break. So we got a new Pokemon. Okay, Chinks. Flash Pokemon, electric type. Its four legs have muscle-based system of generating electricity. Its body shines when it's in danger. Nice. Now. Huh. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, check out three Pokemon. Let's see. Swear again. I know what you think it's here, you're using people up too much, why are you gonna change it up? Well, the thing is, if I remember correctly, the first gym is a... Oh, I'll switch it up here, but I think the, our first gym battle is a rock type, so people up will have the advantage, if I remember correctly. We go on about that. Wing attack. Boom. Okay, Shinx is slowing up, which is great. Starly, yeah. Mm, I want to use Shinx because Thunder Shock so will be weaker, but. Chicks doesn't have a lot of HP, that's the thing. So uh, listen it out, let's see what happens. Because sometimes the outcome you think you're gonna get it doesn't necessarily it's gonna happen. Uh, it's just level 4. And we lower its attack, Starly's most of his attacks are just um Oh, we didn't take it out. It was super effective. Physical attack, so... Oh, we almost, we almost died there, but whatever. Okay. 
That's a good little jinx. Oh, welcome to the team. Oh yeah, 352. You can buy something else with that. Which is great. Remember that we're starting and we're just getting everything ready for the first gym battle. Match up, okay. That shop is mostly physical and he's a fighting type and low kick. Low kick is good, but since P-Plop is not a heavy Pokemon, if he was like ground on, then that thing would have been devastating. Because the Pokemon that weighs a lot. I think that's how low kick works, but we got some level ups here. Okay, good. Ah. Oh, so you won the gym! You won the gym, right? Let's see. Oh, five, I can tell you right now, you don't have any gym badges. No way you get that gene level level 5 Pokemon. There we go. See? A 1k wonder. Oh. That'd be a A switch. See a star leaf. So we got here. Ah, no chance. Don't need it. I never will take you out. We got repel. Repel makes it so basically no Pokemon gets near you for a few stuff. I think is gosh, I want to say a hundred steps. The max repel is like two fifty or something like that. Uh, I'm a Pokemon game. Yeah. Oh, it sucks for things, but. Here is Route 203, Orenburg City. Let's go. Oh, looky here. Oh, looky there. You got a pocket. Hmm, you're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? It's all good. You're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. Let me make a gift of these technical machines to you. Got TM98. Oh, 
Oh, Rock Smash. Fly, when you use the Technical Machine to teach Pokemon, the Pokemon move, that thing will then break. So think very carefully about when you use it. I also added a new feature to Poke Mookie Trainer. It's the Hidden Moves app! If you throw Rock Smash from your Poket, and Wild Pokemon will get rid of boulders for you. Oh, and a Wild Pokemon! Really? But to use this hidden move in the field, you need to first need the Gym Bash before Dark City. I'm looking forward to seeing you grow. Hidden moves. You hidden moves from the hidden moves pocket. Move pass. That obstacles. Okay. Okay. So stuff like this. And I didn't even move. Wait. Oh, a Geo dude. Geo dude. Geo dude is pretty hard rock. So water gun will pick him out. That turned out perfectly. Oh, because he has dirty, okay. Wasn't planning on catching him, but we'll do it. So I guess we don't need the Asian slave. Since he said a wild Pokemon will appear and break the border. We'll see how that works. Oh, I'm charged. Nice. Rock ground, okay. It's possible to sling rocks and slams against others in contests of toughness. No. I'm not gonna use it in my party, but it's good to have. Here. Ah, yes, this is a war gun. <laughs> really tackle? I'm running out of PP. This is eternal, wait. Remember if I have to... Oh, I think it just goes straight. Because I do need um strength. If you know that your Pokemon is not going to be that good against another one, just switch it out. You lose a turn, but normally what you do is you switch out to another Pokemon, which uh, the attacks from the other one is not going to be that effective. Ah, oh, great. You have to be stun scored, really. Now we're paralyzed. Now we have a chance of not even attacking. And also makes it slower, by the way. Nice. Man, I hate it when it gets that effects like that. Especially, you know, because this is the last play, and now 
Let's put this aside the switch. This gets shanks it out. Uh, you know, it just makes it so now I have to go to the Pokemon Center to kill up, but at least I'm going to the Pokemon Center anyways, but it's one of those things. Cloud nine? Uh there's no weather, so see charge. So we charge up. There we go. Oh wow, Scratch! Yeah, when you use Charge, um, basically makes electric attacks a little bit stronger. I mean, Racist does raise up your defense, but it also does that, and there's this Charge as well. Okay, I think we made to see. Yeah. Holy oh, trainer. If you don't have a single bash, other trainers will look down on you like you're a uh, little noob, right? So I'll show you where the town's Pokemon gym is. Ah, there's someone there. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, let me heal up just in case he wants to fight. Where's the Pokemon Center? Oh, here it is. I think we can't find the gym live right now. I think we have to go to a cave first. Let's talk to him. Huh. Oh, it's just you. Finally got here. You're slow like always. You're so slow the gym leader's long gone by now. He said he had to go to, um, oh yeah, the Orenberg mine. I got my badge already, so it's no big deal to me, but... And he only said, but... Oh well. That's where we have to go. Okay, taking up cold. No, the guys out here are not gonna fight you from what I remember. No. But I do think there's a couple items that you can get. Oh, got Super Potion, nice! Super Potion, if I remember correctly, gives you 50 HP. No, 60, okay. I was close, but no cigar. Gosh, I can't remember if there was an item around here. Oh yeah, there we go, start this. See, lovely red sand that flows between the fingers. What a loose, silky feel. It can be sold at a low price to shops. Yeah, this is for money. Okay. So the gin litter inside here, so let's go. Okay. X defense. Now X defense is a battle item. And battle items all they do is as you can see here, an item that sharply boosts the defense stats of a Pokemon during battle. It wears off once the Pokemon is withdrawn. Uh, these are not hold items, and you cannot use them in multiplayer. You can only use them in the game.
Okay, so we're talking about geodudes. Everyone who works in the coal mine keep their own Pokemon with them. It may be challenged to battle. <laughs> yeah. Enough. Yeah, Geodude. Go with that one. Go Jess. What a gun. Gotta roll out now. I think Onyx appears here. Uh, like I said, we're starting, so we're gonna need the training. Excuse me. Plus, people up people make this place very easy. Oh yeah, that's path the least down, so let's talk to this guy. Nope. He snuck a Pokemon. His work, how did he do that? Ah. Butt ball! They do leer so that they, they can hit you with a low kick, but since your Pokemon are not that heavy, it's like... Yeah. They might hit you with Karate Shot. Oh, 13, nice. 10. The item here. And here's the gym leader. That was fast. So we could have taken either route, but hey, if we can get a little bit more experience, we can get another item, why not take the check them both out, right? He's gonna keep doing rollout and every time it's gonna get stronger and stronger and stronger. That's how rollout works until I think it I think it's after five, something like that. It, it stops. Oh ro wow, <laughs> he's talking about rollout. Let's see. Ah, get rid of Get rid of polish. See five turns. Get rid of the polish. Like I said, I'm not really gonna use this Pokemon on my team. It's just here for right now. We got a skate rope. Nice. Skate rope makes it so we get out of here. You just use it and on any cave and it'll take you out of it. Well, the Depends because if you're in an actual dungeon, like the mountain, uh, this whole game is centered around, I think it takes you a 
doesn't take you all the way out. I think it leaves you on the other part of one of the caves and then you make your way down. Keep uh, your Pokemon. Look at that onyx. And that onyx is really small. Check out that guy. That guy is almost as tall as onyx. Let's talk to the actual Jimmy though. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move rock smash. Get rid of the boulder blocking your way. Fallen borders need to be smashed, so they're out of the way. If you get the badge from the gym in town, you'll be able to do this too. Of course, you don't have to beat the gym leader first. That'll be me. And it's out. So, how about... Uh, I was gonna use the escape rope, but honestly, this place is so short. I think you also find Subas down here. Oh, Onyx! Right. And let's water gun it. Don't really want it on my team, but if we happen to lower its HP down, it survives, then we catch up. If not, then whatever. People think the level 14, nice. Level 12. Level 10. Level 11. Okay, now that we did that, we can actually go to the gym. So let's go heal up. Fast. We'll head straight to the gym and do this because we're already at the two hour mark. If you guys are watching this past that, uh, thanks guys, honestly. Hopefully, uh, other episodes won't be that long, won't be this long, but we'll see. to rock gym. Okay, so three trainers. Yeah, uh, on the gyms, fight all of them. Um, don't avoid them because you want to level up. And once you have defeated the gym leader, the trainers do not fight, so Keep that in mind. And the floor looks great. The reflections could be a little bit better, that's for sure. A lot of the gyms have, uh, a lot of the trainers in the gym have the same Pokemon. You know, this is Rock, so they're gonna have Rock Pokemon, so Geodude, Onyx, and the gym leader is the one that's gonna have a different one, a newer one. Same. 
So Piplop and Turtwig are perfect for this team. Chimchar is the one that is gonna have the hardest. Because it's fire and fire sweep to rot. Looks like if Pippa evolves, it will be after the gym later. Yeah. Welcome, this is the Orber Pokemon Gym. I'm Rod, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock type Pokemon. As gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of your Pokemon and battle with you. Here we go, our first gym battle. Got you guys why it's gonna be a little kid. Ten year olds are not gym leaders, that's for sure. Okay, he's starting off with Geo dude. Pretty sure we should take him out. Yep, there we go. Okay, here comes Onyx. Oh, Stealth Rock. Okay, Stealth Rocks makes it so every time you switch out or throwing a new Pokemon, it's gonna get some damage. Ah, uh, Kick Out Sturdy, okay. And it can be very deadly, especially for a Pokemon like Charizard. Oh, yeah, Team Leader still use potions. Keep that in mind. I don't think Sturdy will kick in. Yeah. But yeah, Stealth Rock and you throw Charizard out there, he's gonna get demolished by it. Okay, level 15. Nice. Oh, Pat. Okay. Early, uh, let's get rid of Charm. We're not gonna use that. Okay, level 13. Double team? Nah. Just makes it so they miss more, but honestly, with that Pokemon, it's not really useful. Bite. Let's see. Got Tackle. Um, which is 40. No, oh, Tackle. Tackle is 40 and 100. By the 60 and 100 and start type, so we'll switch out Leer. Now we have something against Ghost type Pokemon. Everybody's leveling up here. Uh, Harden? No! Do not teach Harden. That makes, raises your defense. Don't be Ash. Okay, we got a new Pokemon here, Gratidos, which, well, new to us. This guy's a fossil Pokemon, one of the first, um, actually, dinosaur fossil Pokemon, which is pretty cool. And he's rock, he's pure rock, if I remember correctly, he's pure rock. And we're going to... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, he's just going to use the potion to stall, but... It's going down. There we go.
What? That can't be my buffed up Pokemon. Yeah. Ah, uh, he doesn't pay up that good. I mean, that other trainer that we fought a while back gave us a thousand eight hundred something. This one, not even two thousand. Why can't you give us five grand? This is embarrassing. Yeah, you, you could have given me five grand. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single bash. That's the story. You're strong, and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our badge, since you beat me. The gym leader. Here's the official Pokemon League Cold Bash. Having the cold bash means you can now use the hit move rock smash from your pokech. You should also take these two. TM76. Which one's this one? Oh, stealth rock. Yep. Oh yeah, stickers, because you can customize your Pokeballs. Okay. Thank you. So, we feed it. Our first... Our first gym leader, and your badges. Now, one thing that you could do in the DS one, was that you can clean the badges up and make them shine and the other thing is that depending on the shine was the sound they made and you can actually make some music with it which was pretty cool but it looks like you can't do that here so we did it we defeated our first gym leader and it's already 2 hours and 13 minutes, so I think this is a good point to call it off. So we can keep on going in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.